What up, peeps? What up, YouTube peeps? Y'all see my hair. This is how I'm keeping my hair. Probably for the next month or so. Hopefully, I'll dread up because my hair is prone to dreading. Of course. Yeah, but it took me two days to do this. I mean, I guess I could have. But see, when I do my hair, it's like a, a, a spur of the moment. So it's just like a thought, and then I do it. Uh huh. The size of which I did it, it, it took longer in because I started later in the day. So it took two days. Sorry. Here's some of this generic little white cheddar popcorn. I just walked to the store. And mind you, it's like 10 o'clock out here, but we have to walk to the store like super early in the morning because uh, we walked to the store at 8, 8.40 this morning and it was already like 86 degrees. And today is supposed to be um, 103 out here in Vegas, you know what I'm saying? Out here in Vegas, 103. Yeah, that's that's not even the hottest that it gets. But everybody know, everybody know, it's hot everywhere. You know, summertime. It's June. Hope you guys staying safe. You know that Corona still out there. You guys still out there. I uh, I went to our 99 cent store, and 99 cent store has masks. For a dollar, they are the, um, so, yeah, they are washable, washable, so I got yeah. some for all of us, because I, I, I prefer to have the washable ones rather than these. those ones you uh, have to throw away, I didn't see a lot, so hold on, let me like so mute my TV, because I am actually watching you too. <laughs> But um, I seen a lot. Uh, a lot of people have recorded where people are just disregard, uh, discarding, you know, those disposable masks everywhere. You find them at the beach. You find the disposable gloves everywhere. And, nah, we just polluting our own damn country, our own damn world. We polluting the shit out of it. The animals were happier when we were stuck in the house, okay? I'm just going to say that. The earth was happier when we were stuck in the fucking house because humans are destructive-ass motherfucking creatures. Uh-oh. And it is what it is. You know, we just destructive by nature, I guess, you know? Just, it's out there, so we're going to destroy it. If it ain't hurting us instantly then we ain't worried about it, and that's just what it is. I'm watching this uh, YouTube video on mobile homes, and this mobile home right here, it's a custom mobile home. It's so nice. It's really nice. It's actually huge. I would live in that motherfucker. Um, but, like, I always think of, like, uh, if I won, like, a whole bunch of money, because, you know, I live in Vegas, but... Crazy thing is I don't gamble. I mean, I gamble like maybe five or six times a year. That's it. Not a big gambler. I don't like losing money. So if I lose $60, I'm pissed. You know, if I win $20, I'm happy as fuck because the point is I won something, you know. But, um,. I be thinking like, what if one day I go to casino and hit for a lot, like millions? Cause my thing is, one day I'm this hair right here is just irritating me, you guys. That's why I keep messing with it. One day I'm gonna go to the casino and I'm gonna hit for millions on a fluke. This is my mindset, okay? I'm gonna hit for millions on a fluke, and. I would buy my mom one of these mobile homes on, like, some land, you know. I would buy a, a big-ass, like, acres of land. That's what I would do. 
see how much land I can get for my books. Because that's my dream, to just buy acres of land and then just build build houses on it or buy a house that has acres of land and redo it because I'm not too fond on tearing down trees to build stuff. And so, um, yeah, that'd be my goal. And then everybody, we all, all my family live on that land, like their own individual homes. That's my goal. That's my dream in life, right? And it would be like out, not in the city. I mean, like miles away from the city because the city is fucking shit. I just need peace of mind in the city. It's horrible. The city is too crowded, too populated, and just too much. People are too much. I'm an introvert. If any of you guys seen my last videos, I'm an introvert, so being around a lot of people is not my thing. It's not my cup of tea. I, I may look tired because I'm tired. I woke up like at 4 o'clock in the morning for some reason. And no, I had to go to the bathroom. And so, hey, Izzy Bear. And so, um... You know, once you get up, you gotta go to the bathroom. It's hard as hell to go back to sleep. So I stayed up until about five because the sun was fully up. Went to sleep. I woke up at eight because by then my kids are up. And I don't have little kids, you guys. So you'll probably hardly ever see them on here. I don't have little kids. I have grown ass adult kids and teenagers. That's all I have. Thank goodness. But when they up, especially my daughter, because I only have one daughter and I have five I have six kids, five boys, one girl. And my daughter, once she up, then I'm up. My daughter's twenty three. Yes, yeah, she still live here at home and I would have it no other way. You know, the world is crazy. I'd rather my kids be close to me than far away. Okay, that's the type of parent I am. So, when she up, I'm up. And if I say, hey, we're going to go to the store in the morning, she makes sure she wake me up at 8 o'clock and be like, ain't we going to the store <laughs> before it get hot? <laughs> we going to the store. So, yeah. So, I'm still a little bit tired. A lot tired this mobile home oh my god it's like beautiful like gorgeous I mean it's custom made but it's gorgeous you know what I'm saying like if I was ever rich I could get that for my mom my mom would love that house like she would love that house like hands down I love that shit but yeah just random thoughts, you guys. Just random thoughts. I'm just on here just talking because I ain't got shit else to do. And it's going to be hot as fuck, so I'm not going back outside. Got my vitamin D for today. Got my exercise for today. Um, so I'm probably not going to go back out there. I'm not. Fuck that. I'm not going back out there. So, you guys, what's been up with you guys? I mean, how are you guys taking this? I heard Corona is spiking again. So, that's a thing. People forgot about that. With all the protests and everything, people may have forgot that the Corona is still out there. Now it's spiking. Because, listen, the Corona is like the fucking flu. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. And matter of fact, it's probably going to double down on our ass and, and, you know, mutate and be a different strand, maybe a worse strand, you know. So for me, that's why I tend to stay in the house more. I know some people can't stay in the house. They have obligations. They have shit they need to do. But what I'm saying is you guys still be safe out there in these streets because shit is wow. Shit is crazy, you know. Shit is crazy. It's everything happening. Boom, 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 boom. 
from the beginning of the year. Now we're in the middle of the year, and I'm pretty sure this shit gonna last the whole fucking year. Uh, fall gonna come, winter gonna come, shit gonna get crazier. You know, I try to do as much as I can to, um, you know, keep my immune system up. I find myself drinking a lot more um, lemon waters, orange juices. Uh, I try to drink this. Um, um, let me show you guys. I try to drink this. Uh, what is it called? This right here, hibiscus tea. I ordered this off of Amazon. And this is the Friendship Organics Fair Trade Hibiscus Totally Organic Herbal Tea, right? And every time, I didn't catch on at first, but every time I drink that, I was drinking the tea. I was drinking it faithfully, too, you guys, faithfully. Um, My stomach, I got this really bad pain in my gut, like... Oh my God, it was horrible, and I didn't, I didn't connect it too. Like I didn't connect it that every time I drank that tea, my stomach was like somebody sticking knives in it, and so um, I stopped drinking the tea. Just to after a while, I was like, wait a minute, let me see something. So I stopped drinking the tea for a minute. Haven't had the pain, you know. So. I don't know if I'm allergic to hibiscus. That's crazy. So, and, and the crazy part about it is that I, I ordered another can. Like, because I was drinking it so faithfully. Because it's not bad. I love it. I love the taste. but And it's not bad. But it's tearing my stomach up. So now I got two cans of hibiscus tea that I'm not fucking with. But hibiscus tea is really good. And I... You know, so right now I'm just drinking, um, I have a couple packs of this, uh, let me see if you can see it, green tea super antioxidant, antioxidant, um, helps reduce free radicals. So what I do is because... Let me tell you guys, I'm so bad. I order shit, I don't use it. I have my teeny, which I want to try that whole teeny tea, but I don't like the taste of the teeny tea. So it's just sitting in the box. I use the cup, but not the tea. And um, what I do is I get that green tea and I make the green tea and I just make iced tea. I pour some um, almond milk in it, some sweet almond milk. And I normally have agave, but I'm out of agave right now. I can't get to the store because I still don't have a car, you guys. And Uber Lyft is like, there's not too many people riding right now Uber Lyft. Ain't nobody driving Uber Lyft right now. I mean, so it takes like a whole ass 15, 20 minutes to get an Uber Lyft now. And this is in Vegas. And and still, it's expensive as fuck still. Uh, so I have to put sugar in there. Long story short, I have to put a little bit of sugar in there. I'm trying to stay away from sugar because my blood sugar levels, are they spike a lot. And so I'm trying to stay away from sugar. So, um... And I can't drink dairy. I, I eat cheese, but as far as milk and shit, no. Milk, yogurt, all that shit, no. I don't, I don't fuck with it. Um, I do eat cheese, though. But that's about it. Um, sour cream. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so what I do is I make that green tea. Um, I put ice in here and a little bit of the uh, almond milk. Uh, the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And a little bit of sugar until I can get some agave. I should have just put honey in there. But, um, yeah, and so I drink that. And I tell you, it's good. It is delicious. You guys should try it. It's good. I promise you. Um, also, my son bought me a juice extractor, a juicer that I haven't used yet. But... I'm going to start using that. 
um, just to, again, um, try to keep my immune system boost. I give my kids a whole bunch of juice um, to keep their immune systems healthy, you know. Um, yeah, so, mm -hmm, I'm trying to do, but I hate I can't have that hibiscus no more. Because it's really good. I like it. For anybody who's tried it, you know, I mean, I don't know. Do you like it? Um, yeah. Other thing that's going on in here that is annoying me, I guess because it is spring, summer, we have spiders. In Vegas, you have a lot of different bugs. So we have those big flying roaches out here. The water bugs, which are just red and black roaches. They ain't water bugs. Those big ass fucking roaches. Then you have the ones that fly in. So I have to try to get screens on all my windows so we can keep the windows open. Because they'll fly in at night if the if the uh if there's no screens on the window. You have those. You have scorpions, which we always have in this house. Scorpions. I don't like to kill them, so I just catch them and throw them outside. And we have spiders now. We have regular ass spiders like daddy long legs. Then we have some brown spiders. I don't think they're recluses. I don't know. They just brown. Then we have black widows, which is a big ass problem. Big ass problem because my truck is sitting outside and, um, my truck is sitting outside. It hasn't been working over a year or two. We're trying to get it fixed. Can't find a mechanic. Blah, 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 blah. And um, there's a ton of black widows under there. A ton of black widows under my fucking truck. And there's a ton of black widows in my garage. I don't go in the garage because that's where the big roaches are because they come in to the garage door. My lips are so chapped, you guys. And we have the big ass fucking uh, black widows. So, yeah, if you ever want to move to Vegas, just take into consideration that there's a lot of fucking bugs out here. It's the fucking desert. You know? I'm ready to move though. Not it's not because I don't like Sacramento. I mean Sacramento. Sacramento on my mind because my son is out there. It's not that I don't like Vegas. Vegas is cool. I'm not gonna even Yeah, you know, Vegas is alright, it's cool. But it's um it's just I've been here for like Um, in December, it'll be eight years, and I'm over it. I'm over it. I am really over it. I just have to wait until, so I have two kids that's left in school, high school. Well, my baby, he just, um, graduated from eighth grade, so he's going to ninth grade. And the, um, the second youngest, he's going to 12th grade. Uh, so I want to wait until he finishes high school, the second, the second to the youngest, um, next year, he, he'll, because he's going to talk, right, so he'll be done next year, so I want to wait until next summer, basically, or next fall to move, because my baby, he got a whole four years, he got a whole four years of high school, so, you know. I don't want to wait out here another whole four years. I don't. I do not. I do not. I do not. I can't afford to go back home, which is California. It's too fucking expensive. Can't afford to do that. So I just got to figure some shit out. See see where life takes me, you know. Hopefully we're going in a good direction. And, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I want to talk about, you guys. I like my hair like this. I don't have to do nothing to it. I just put a cap on it and it is what it is. I like it. I like it. It's good. But yeah, you guys, it's been like 
I've been on here for almost 20 minutes talking about absolutely bull crap shit. Nothing. I just, yeah, just wanted to come on here and chit chat with you guys for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so basically, you guys, just stay safe out in these streets. You know, stay healthy. Keep your body up. You know, get some sun. Um, don't be out in these streets just for no reason. If you don't have to be out, don't be out because Corona's still out there, you guys. And shit is just still crazy. Shit is just still crazy out in these streets. So if you don't have to involve yourself in nothing, don't just, you know, live in peace. Live in peace. Peace with your mind. Peace with your health. Peace with your soul. Be at peace with everything. All right? Probably going to lay back down because I'm tired. But normally, I'm not. But I'll talk to you guys later.